Singapore Math helped teachers understand their role as a teacher. It helped them improve their content knowledge by looking at the textbooks, they understand the mathematics they teach. By looking at the textbooks, they understand the methods they should use to teach. Part 1. Addition within 100 without regrouping. Now that you know how to add whole numbers within 20, we can move on to adding whole numbers within 100. At the end of this lesson, we will learn how to add two numbers without regrouping. Let's take a big number like 44 and add 3. For this addition sentence, we will be using a number line and a process called counting off. We will count three times from the red dot positioned over 44. Let's count together. One, two, three. Where did the arrow land? 47. So we say that 44 plus three is equal to 47. We can also add these numbers by using number bonds. Remember what number bonds are? It shows the relationship between a whole number and its parts. We can write 44 as 40 and 4 for easier adding. At the same time, we will write the equation in tens and ones. So 44 plus 3 is 4 tens, 4 ones plus 3 ones. Then we add them together to come up with four tenths, seven ones, or 47. So 44 plus three is equal to 47. Let's explore another way of adding by using base 10 models. This is a unit. It is equal to one. This is a rod. One rod is equal to 10 units. A flat is equal to 10 rods and also to 100 units. We'll draw up a table showing the tens and ones and use rods and units to represent the numbers. So to represent 44, we place four rods on the first column, one, two, three, four, and four units on the second. One, two, three, four. To represent three, we will place three units under the second column. Since addition means putting together, we will combine all the rods and units at the bottom. So how many ones do we have? Four plus three equals seven. And how many tens do we have? We have four. So 44 plus three equals 47. Let's do that again. What is 41 plus 15? To represent 41, we place four rods in the tens column and one unit in the ones column. To represent 15, we place one rod in the tens column and five units in the ones column. Now let's put them together. How many ones do we have? We have six ones. How about tens? We have five tens. Five tens, six ones is 56. 41 plus 15 is equal to 56. Let's move on to a couple of exercises. Can we solve 34 plus 25 using number bonds? 34 can be written as 30 and 4, while 25 can be written as 20 and 5. From the number bonds, we can write the following addition sentences. 34 plus 25 is 3 tenths, 4 ones, plus two tens, five ones. Add the tens and ones together. Three plus two 
and 4 plus 5 to get 5 tenths, 9 ones, or 59. So 34 plus 25 is equal to 59. Let's do another exercise, this time with base 10 models. Can you solve 51 plus 20 using base 10 models? 51 is represented by 5 rods and 1 unit. 20 is represented by 2 rods. Add them all up and you get 7 tens, 1 1 or 71. This time add 18 and 21. Did you get three tens, nine ones, or thirty-nine? Very good! Eighteen plus twenty-one equals thirty-nine. You did a great job! Now you know how to add two numbers without regrouping. We can move on to the next lesson.